Yo, let's dig into these money management tips for music entrepreneurs. Yo, welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music production, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. Now, this video is gonna be loaded with information, right? So I'm gonna have chapters listed in the description below. So if you wanna skip around or kinda come back and reference this video, however many times you need to, um, those will be there so you can kinda skip to where, uh, skip to the section that you wanna check out. So I've been getting a lot of questions about how I manage money um, as an entrepreneur, as a musician, um, especially since, you know, we kind of get paid royalties like every quarter and just different different streams of income coming in at different times. How do you manage that? We have a, kind of like a budget spreadsheet that we use in our house and I'll, I'll kind of do a screen share and, and break that down for you guys so you can see that. Um, but first, let's talk about... Um, Let's talk about royalties because somebody asked, you know, if you get paid royalties every three months, like how do you budget that out, right? So, I mean, it depends on how you want to budget it, right? I, I would suggest first having an emergency fund set aside because royalties can go up and down, right? And if, if the bulk of your income is coming from royalties, you want to make sure you can weather those, those low moments. Um, but pretty much if you're getting paid um every you know every quarter then pretty much that lump sum of money you can budget it out to where if you know what your expenses are every month just budget that royalty check out for the next three months so you know that those expenses are going to be covered for the next three months one of the most important things is making sure you know what your expenses are every month like that's where everything starts if you don't know um, what you're spending and how much you're spending every single month and your on your personal expenses and in your business expenses that's where you you're going to see a, a lot of financial um, trouble because you just don't know so you have to sit down go through each and every expense that you have um, every month for your your personal in-home expenses as well as like your business expenses right so that's what um that's what we do in our house we have a spreadsheet of all of our house expenses and then i have a spreadsheet for all of my business expenses so i know exactly what i'm spending every month if that changes i can go and update that spreadsheet and um you know and just act accordingly according to the irs if you're making over 400 dollars annually um you have to pay what's called self-employment tax as long as your um your business and everything is kind of set up um correctly um such as like an llc or or corp or however your i don't know how, however you're structured you're gonna have to pay taxes if you're making more than 400 dollars um i believe there's another fee like if you're like a church employee that number is like around a hundred and something dollars i'll leave a link in the description below for details on that so you have to prepare for taxes so everything that i make um in my business i automatically shave off um taxes now that the tax rate is 15.3 um, for the first one hundred forty two thousand eight hundred dollars as of twenty twenty one. This may change depending on when you watch the video. But as of twenty twenty one, um, that's the rate um, for that that first tier of income. Um, if you go beyond that, I, I believe they add an additional percentage um, of I, I think it's Medicare or, or one of one of those uh portions of the self-employment tax again details will be in the link in the description um, so check that out make sure you know how much you're supposed to be paying in taxes um, my recommendation is set aside more than just that 15.3 percent um, just to make sure you know you're covering any surprises i've been in a situation where i didn't even know anything about an, an employment taxes self-employment taxes and i made i went a whole year making money doing some musician work and then yeah got hit and had to had to pay taxes but um i figured it out and i learned from that lesson and now like every time money comes in i just automatically 
create a, a tax savings account and I put that amount of per, the percentage that I have um, away for taxes and I don't touch it like it's not an emergency fund it's not something to just don't just ignore it just forget it in addition to self-employment tax I also um, take about 15% or so and just put that in a savings account a business savings account to where um, if any emergency came up in my business or I don't this camera broke or something I had to get another one I can pull from that um, and not necessarily have to um, go in my business check-in or, or whatever and, and kind of pull from that so just you know just another emergency fund I guess for the business side of things and then of course I also have to make sure my expenses are paid um, in the business so again like I, I mentioned before I have a spreadsheet for that once I know um, my taxes are covered my expenses are paid put away that savings in the savings account now the money that I have I can um, I can reinvest it back into the business and just continue to grow the business from there now let's talk about business expenses and keeping track of those um, anytime you pay for something um, that that's related to your business especially something that can be a tax write-off and lower your taxable income you want to be sure you take a screenshot or save a PDF or something of that receipt so that you have it you can put it um, either like in a folder on your computer or something however you want to manage um, those receipts save those receipts just in case the IRS ever wanted to audit you you have everything you you need as far as bookkeeping wise and you're organized and it'll make that process easier if it ever happens but we hope it never happens right but you never know make sure you save your receipts make sure you document um, everything well if it needs extra documentation so you know exactly what it is if you need an app to help you stay organized with business expenses business income I use hurdler I'll leave a link to that in the description below super dope app it allows me to add income sources so I can add like my business checking account I can add um, my PayPal account, Stripe account, any account where income is coming in for the business, it'll automatically add it and then you can swipe it and edit it and create automations. Um, and you can also add expense accounts. So, you know, for, for my business credit card, um, I can add that. So anytime I pay for something, that transaction will pop up and then all I have to do is take a screenshot of the receipt and I can attach the receipt to that transaction that comes in on the hurdler app and that everything is in one place and they'll even send you a spreadsheet of the report so either monthly or annually whatever you need and it helps when it comes time to do your taxes you have everything in one place and it's documented they categorize it based on um, the tax categories and and it's just it's dope just check it out hurdler link in the description okay so let's talk about credit cards. Do we use credit cards? Yep, but not how you may think, right? We don't like credit card debt. We don't have credit card debt. This is how we use our credit cards in both the home and business. We have like a main credit card that we use uh, where all of our monthly expenses for the house, unless it has to come out of like a bank account, we have it on auto pay from the credit card. So pretty much everything comes off the credit card. It's still within uh, like a 15, 10, 15% uh, credit limit threshold of our card limit. So um, it still looks good as far as credit usage, but all of those expenses come off the credit card and then we just pay the credit card off every month based off the money that we already have set aside in our family checking account for those expenses so we don't use it for stuff that we don't need and stuff that we don't actually have the cash for it's stuff that's already been budgeted cash has already been set aside for it we just put it on the credit card because we get extra points for it and it's like turns into like extra money um, for free for something that we're gonna pay for every month anyway and um, it builds our credit like we have really great credit scores and um, it's because you know we responsibly use the credit that we do have and, and we pay it off every month there's no lingering balance we don't pay interest or anything like that um, we just use it for our expenses and then we pay all of those expenses off for the end of the month I have business credit cards as well and I use it the same exact way I use it for all of my expenses uh, for the business 
and it's only for stuff that I have the cash for to pay um, in the business account. I just put it on the credit card and then transfer the money from the business account to the credit card, pay it off, boom, building that business credit as well. The dope thing about it, getting a, a credit card that has some type of rewards, we get rewards points on um, both the, our personal credit cards and the business credit cards. And um, we use those points to, you know, get extra, little extra stuff. Um, it could be for the house, it could just be for whatever. So, you know, just some, some extra money uh, for free. And depending on what kind of cards you get, I know for the business credit cards, a lot of times if you spend um, a certain amount of money within a certain time frame, so say, I don't know, 5,000 in the first three months, um, they'll give you like a bonus of like 500 or 700 or something worth of points on that card. So for example, I use my business credit card to pay for like advertising expenses and things like that. Um, so I just put all the expenses on there and then I hit that bonus and then boom, I just got free money for stuff I'm, I'm gonna have to pay for anyway. Yo, I know this was a lot of information, but hopefully it was super helpful. If you liked the video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.